Hello everyone, I am a Grandmaster Anna Muzichuk, I am a Women's World Rapid Champion and two-time Women's World Lead Champion. Here I come with answering the questions on Power Chess. And the first one is... Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I started earning decent money when I was a teenager. I won the title of Ukrainian Women's Champion when I was just 13. But back then I was quite young and the system was that I was giving all my earnings to my parents while they were investing this money into my trainings and tournaments. But once, when I was 15 or so, I remember I won some prize and decided to buy some cosmetics. So I bought a mascara, lipstick and eyeliner, all this stuff. And the funny thing is that I still keep this mascara as the memory about that day. Uh, I would say Grishuk. Uh, you know, it's already funny before he says something. Even if he lost a game or missed some chance, he still comes up with some funny comments. I like his jokes because uh, they are easy to understand, uh, they are really amusing and they are never offensive. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I think it would be nice to watch any final game from Karpo Kaspar World Championship matches. I would like to see and feel this atmosphere when lots of people are in one huge theater hall. I'd like to feel this tension. I am also curious what was the average level of these people, uh, what were their thoughts, did they understand what was happening on the board? I mean, all this stuff must be really very exciting. If I was not a chess player, I would become... Um, difficult to say, uh, because I started to play chess at the age of 3. I have been in chess during my entire life and I didn't have time to try to do seriously something else. But at school I like studying foreign languages, I also think I could be a programmer. It's definitely the end of 2016 uh, when I won two world champion titles. Up to now, there are only three chess players in the world who managed to win World Blitz Championship and World Rapid Championship in the same year. They are Magnus Carlsen, Susan Polgar and myself. Oh, what a contrast. Uh, yeah, I did. I think most of people had these thoughts to stop doing what they do even if they are really successful. The point is that you can't be successful all the time and failures are a part of everyone's journey. So it's very important how people deal with these failures and how they overcome them. I would recommend those who are watching me now, don't give up. Try to calm down and then analyze what you did wrong, uh, what you will change in the future and all that I can tell you is Keep putting one foot in front of the other. There is one person I really admire, and not only as a sportsman. He's my compatriot, he's Ukrainian, a former pole vaulter who broke the world record for men's pole vault 35 times, and I find it being very, very impressive. And uh, now he's also the president of the National Olympic Committee of Ukraine. His name is Sergei Bobka. We have actually seen each other a couple of times, but I wouldn't mind meeting him again. I think I have played many nice games and I hope I will enrich this collection in the future. 
But at the moment I'd like to mention the games I played on my last event before the pandemic. The games versus Kabaori played in the tournament in Gibraltar, which also became the best game of the event, and the game versus Maurice Bach from Grand Prix in Lausanne. Both games were played in 2020. Magnus, uh, the GOAT. Uh, in my opinion, he's really the, the greatest player of all times. Ivanchuk. Uh, I'd say unpredictable. He can beat anyone when he's in his best shape, but Vasil is also so unstable that he can also unexpectedly lose to a much weaker opponent. Vichy. Champion. He's definitely the person to respect. Five-time world champion who is still very passionate about chess. Judith Bulgar. Inspiration. It's difficult to add something. I would like just to say thanks to Judith for being a role model to many girls and for what she is doing now to make our game more popular. Anish Giri. Draw. <laughs> Sorry, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. Hikaru. Chusar. Those who are watching Hikaru's streams know what I mean. I'll tell her, hi Anna, you're a nice girl, you're already one of the top female players and your biggest achievements are coming soon. Uh, I just advise all young people to believe in themselves, to do what you want to do and if you're passionate about something, just do it, don't give up. Even if something goes wrong in the end, it's better to regret that it didn't work rather than you didn't try. All the best and good luck to all of you!